some Asmund Gold. Blizzard, you get what you fucking deserve. That's the first video we're starting off with. Asmund Gold, let's see what old boy has to say about whatever he's got to say. You're not getting early access. You're paying to avoid getting late access. Blizzard is doing this too with the War Within. First of all, those prices are fucking outrageous. See, when... All right, I don't want to get into a rant nine seconds into the video, but I, it's just outrageous that the industry thinks that with everything going digital, that we're dumb enough to not realize that the price shouldn't be going up. Because prior to the internet, you had $60 games, 40 to 60 60 was outrageous, and you had a physical product you had to ship. You don't have that anymore. These prices shouldn't be that much, and it's just proof that these giant corporations are just, they think we're dumb as a box of rocks, and we're going to pay out the ass for a game. That's Where outrageous. does it say? Where does it say? It doesn't say. Uh, am, I not, am I not seeing it? Why am I not seeing it? Oh, God. Wait, that's in the... Pre-purchase. Oh, wow. Big edition? Epic edition includes early access. Of course it is. As we discussed a few months ago, with the War Within expansion, Blizzard decided to implement one of the most idiotic changes one could possibly imagine. If you want to play WoW on launch like every other expansion for the past 20 years, you'll need to pay $40 extra. On That's fucking insane. That is insane, dude. Dragonflight's expansion launch. WoW's Twitch section broke 800k viewers and everyone could play on launch. Today on the War Within's launch, the WoW section barely broke 200k and people are pissed. Early yeah. access really destroyed the early expansion hype for me. Feels like the two separate releases killed the hype. And, and Blizzard's not the only one guilty of this. Um, a lot of 4X games are going this route too. Uh, well, shit, Age of Mythology just did the... Oh, no, you know what? To be fair, it was like a 20 to $30 pre-purchase price, but it was separate from the thing. But still, it's it's kind of dumb when you're letting certain people play if they pay. It's just basically um, you promoting people that have money to be able to do things uh, instead of just promoting your game and concentrating on that and being happy with the money you receive from that. You're basically putting a paywall there. So people with more money are that are going to be willing to spend this. Yeah, it's just corporations being greedy as fuck. I mean, that's what it comes down to, right? That's, that's what it comes down to. Shout out to Miss Safe for the sunglasses. Of this expansion for me, the best things of an expansion are normally the beginning when the hype is greatest. But splitting the community up for a quick buck has killed that. I true. Bingo. Bingo. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed really it. really hope those extra 40 bucks from a bunch of suckers were worth it, Blizz. Just the advertisement damage is monumental, and it goes to show one more time how they truly have no idea why players come back every expansion on launch day. No it's way. actually fixed. No fucking way they fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Get out of here, shit. guys. Go run. Away. Run. Run. run away, boys. Go over here. Go over here. Scatter. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I really do think this is, it's, it's, it's like he, his video, obviously, let's go back. I don't, it, I shouldn't have audio, auto um, play on anyways, but we're, we'll see if we can back that up. You're not getting early access. So there's the video. Blizzard, you get what you fucking deserve. Give it a like, get a sub if you want. Obviously, there's, he just posts so much. I don't have my notifications on, but he pops up plenty in my feed. Um, yeah, so what it comes down to, companies just need to stop being greedy, greedy pieces of shit. But I also feel like um, we're getting a lot of uh, influx of people that shouldn't really be in the video game community either, like as designers and stuff. And like I like that anybody can be a designer or, or a game designer as well, but I do feel like we're getting very bloated, especially with these corporations. Like you get so many people in there. Like back in the day, it only took like I mean, look, look at Animal for uh, Animal Well, for example. You had very minimal people on that. They made a fantastic game. 
And I think with AAA games, it's a big problem. You have this giant corporation bloated with like people that you don't honestly fully need spending money. And then they have to find ways to upcharge prices like this, where small companies don't seem to have this issue either. Um, now that not being said, like that being said, it's still corporate fucking greed at the end of the day. You don't know how to manage your own fucking company. It's your own fault. Right. Uh, yeah, it, it's just, it's, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. I, I'm not paying $70 for a fucking game. I'm definitely not paying a hundred dollars for a game or $120. That's in fucking insane. Who has the money for that kind of shit? I mean, it's got, it's got to be like your only hobby you got going on if you're, you're able to do that maybe. but Or maybe then again, you work a lot and you uh, can afford it. I, I don't know. I just, I, I feel like I, I, you never catch me buying a, a game that expensive, even if I was like rich, rich. That's outrageous. If I want to support a game that bad, I feel like I would try to get in and find a way to invest, right? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. But again, there's a video. Make sure you guys give it a like if you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to keep moving.